To set up parameterized unit tests for an Insight Python application using PyTest in the Portfolio Optimization Example app, start by creating a new subdirectory named Test in your project root directory. This folder will be the location for unit tests and will not be distributed when you deploy the app. Within the new test directory, create a new Python file. The name of this file must start with the prefix test underscore. In this case, the file must be named test underscore application dot pi. This will enable PyTest to consider the file as a test source file for running unit tests. In the header of the new Python file, start by importing the native OS and SYS packages and the pre-installed packages PyTest and Express Insight. Next, make your source Python file visible to the test file by appending the Python source directory to the list of directories the interpreter will search in for modules by appending the path of the source directory to the system path. Then, you can import the Insight app class from the application module. After the package import statements, insert the decorator pytest.mark.parameterize and define the names and values of the parameters that you want to use to validate the test. You can define as many parameters as necessary and assign different data types such as strings, lists, or dictionaries. Each row will correspond to an individual test instance performed by PyTest. Next, define the test function as a standard function and name it with the prefix test underscore. This will mark the function as a function to be tested during PyTest scans. The function must accept the parameters defined in the decorator and a TMP path argument which specifies the name of a temporary directory that PyTest will create for each test. This will avoid permission errors when PyTest attempts to delete the Insight default temporary working directory by performing multiple tests in a single run. Use the values of the past parameters to assign new entity values in your script before calling the run execution mode. Then, write an assert statement as a Boolean expression that tests whether the outcome for any model entity matches the corresponding expected value defined in the decorator. This statement will determine whether the test will pass or fail. End the script by defining the main function to invoke pytest.main. This will allow pytest to scan the active working directory and run tests for all files and functions whose name starts with the prefix test underscore. Open a terminal prompt, run pytest while working at the test directory and check if any of the performed tests failed. Optionally, use the flag minus V to output the result for each individual test instance.